All right, guys, I'm back. I, I, just, I just got, I got to do this. Like, I can't, I can't, yeah, I can't, I can't not. It's driving me nuts already. It's driving me nuts already. Me puede dar dos sándwiches de um, de pavo, de pavo. De pavo. Dos sándwiches de pavo, por favor. Dos sándwiches de pavo, ¿ah? Con todo, sí, con todo. Dos sándwiches. God is good. God is good. Open the door. Ice breeze. Oh, my dentist is across the street. I'm gonna finish my work, but it's cost $1,500. Tell her to just pull all my teeth out for fifteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Two turkey sandwiches.
Tại bị quá Comentou, a gente vai ver de novo. Já se aguardou, vou ter esse aqui. Well, you know what? It was because of what I saw. My garment is there. Oh. Okay, guys. You want to make it? But it really breaks my heart. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you something that um, I hope is still there. I hope. I'm going to cut. Let's see, last time I cut to there, I got a fat chicken. That was like 25 years ago. Guys. This is very sad. Very sad. Hold on, guys. Oh, shoot, I got you going in circles. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness, guys.
There's a lot of new restaurants all over this place, but you know, I don't, I don't need, I don't need out. I don't like eating out um, for the reason that they just load your food with with salts. There's nothing else that they can add to the food but salt. downtown area guys I barely come down here barely barely because actually the only thing you can get down here is uh is um two ladies that sleep in the street winter summer and spring winter summer and spring and it's very sad it's very sad they have blankets blankets you name it you name it guys they have it on their carts
Hi guys, I just got out of the uh, uh, post office. I have some stuff that I was expecting, okay? And as I'm coming down, I can't see nothing behind me because, uh, because I always tend to open those curtains and I did not. Okay, so I saw something that broke my heart. It broke my heart. What the heck are you parking here for? You can't park in certain places around here because they'll tow you. Okay, even though there's like 10 stores. Um, oh man, if you can't drive that that little car, I think you need to get an e-bike. People get big cars and, and I don't know if this place is open. Let me see if it's open. It broke my heart. It really broke my heart. So I'm going to take care of that before I go home. What the heck they got in here? I ain't never been to this place. I ain't never been to this place. And it's, it's a uh, quarter to 11. I wonder what they got in here. See what they got in here, guys. I don't know if I should go in there or go. Lord have mercy. You know what? Let's 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 go. I know what place. I know what place. Nope. Lord have mercy. Let's go. Guys, it broke my heart. I, I couldn't I could not go to sleep tonight with just thinking about that. Yeah, please get out of the way. See, at this time you gotta have your rear windows visible. Unless you're a delivery guy and a delivery person and you just double park and stuff that you don't have to do not worry about that but in this town your people will walk right behind your car and just even tap it with your hand and call it that you hit them i've never been in there so i'm really skeptic of places that i've never been into but uh guys stay with me stay with me stay with me guys now, let me see if that same person stays in the same one as always or is it prohibited for tenants only. Ah, they got some messed up. I tell you, this town, this town will drive you crazy, guys. This town, uh, they change rules as they go on a, on a daily basis and, and you don't even know. Oh, look at that. It looks like van, city van, life van. Holy mackerel. We gotta go check that out, guys. Well, hold on, guys. Let me get this. Let me, let me, let me, let me get this. Let me get this together and, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. It's heartbreaking. The things that happen in this, you know, that happens in this town, but it's a small town. It's just a lot of people. And if any mayor can't see what's going on, doesn't care, um, then you know where Ada lives, right? I mean, if you're not able to care for yourself, you are so... And, and they're, they're, they're in the right mind. It's just that they can't get the help. They can't get any, any kind of subsidy housing. Um, nothing. I've no. I've seen them. I don't really know them, but I've seen them for many years, guys. Since I reached this town, I've seen them, and every time I've seen them, um, they're sleeping on benches uh, between the Rite Aid store and the main parking lot that they made now that you have to pay with your phone app. Okay, a link to your card, bank card, um, and it's very sad that the new mayor he had those benches removed 
They didn't bother nobody. They just sat there in the daytime because that was the chill spot. But maybe three or four of them, there wasn't like a big crowd where you had to go around. You know, these are helpless, homeless people. This is why I have a heart of gold, okay? Um, a lot of people that really, really, really know me, they call me Ada with the heart of gold because Ada will stop eating to feed somebody else. And that's the honest truth. I will give away whatever I can give away if I know there is a necessity. Even if I need something later, I don't care. I just don't care. That's just me. So they were very grateful. I got them two turkey sandwiches because a lot of people don't like ham. Um, so it was two turkey sandwiches. Big, you know, they give they make some nice sand sandwiches with everything. I said, just put everything in there and two Arizona juices. At least they'll have something for now and for later. Um, so she told me that they go to the um, church up ahead and they feed them in the evening, but not in the daytime. So they do give them like um, apple sauces and stuff like that to take. So they're behind now. I said, You allowed to be? I, you know, I, I didn't want to video them. Uh, these were the questions that I did ask. Are you allowed to, to, to stay behind this wall? But, you know, the lawn, there's a big laundry mat. There's this Indian store here. And she said, yeah, they let us stay here. And her, they're two sisters. They're twins. Actually, they are twin sisters, okay? Twins. So she was telling me that the lady that, was, that came, that was supposed to help them find a place or, or whatnot, or give him a shelter or something like that never came back now why do you do that if, if you if why offer some helpless people God, oh god helpless people homeless people why would you get close to them and offer them something that you know you're you, you might not be able to get you might not be able to get. This has been a problem in this freaking town since I stepped foot in. Oh, the day that I stepped foot in this darn town. But it'll be a day I'll step the fuck up out of here. The foot up out of here. Oh my goodness. Is this terrible? The things. I, I hate coming down here. It's, I can't take it. I just can't take it. I'm just tired. I am so tired of seeing change of commands but nothing changes it just gets worse worse it doesn't matter who the heck you vote for this town it's just worse and worse and worse so i don't spend a dime in this town not anymore okay not even a bottle of tylenol i only go to my favorite places because they're, they've been very sweet to me. I've known them for that place I've been now. I've been to them since I stepped foot here because I used to live in a little room um, not too far from that restaurant. Okay, it's called Mickey's Restaurant. They, they, their prices are reasonable. Okay, $16 for, for, for two big sandwiches, two juices, and my six, um, corn um roll whatever you call them things um sixteen dollars you know what i think if i would have went to uh, what was it this place over here that i don't even know i think it would have been twenty dollars for one item or a nice fancy dish with a little bit of something that probably they won't even eat it so i know sandwiches they like so i told it it's cold sandwiches so you can save some for now and some for later and it's chilly out here. But they have they have laundry bags, guys. Laundry bags. They got about five laundry bags. Um, full of uh, clothing. Uh, they have a shopping cart uh, full of um, blankets. So I saw they have a blanket. It, it looks like a rug already, guys. You know, this is so sad. I get sick to my stomach. Oh my, guys, I wish y'all know me in person, guys. You know what? If I could gather a group of people, but nobody wants to participate. I, I tried a long time ago, long time ago. And it's a darn shame. A darn shame. 
that they don't help these people. And I tried years ago to try to get um, uh, people together to go around and find these homeless people because they live under the bridges. They live under the piers by the waterfront. Um, sometimes you don't hear about it because they froze to death. Hey, you can't take them home with you. But there's a lady that was talking to them over there. And she said that she can lend them a little area to put their stuff away. Listen, I heard stories about these two twin ladies. Um, they must be like in their maybe 56, 57. I would say they're not that old. Um, when their mother passed, they lost it. Okay? They completely lost it because... Their mother was always there for them. Um, so they completely lost it. And that's how they became homeless, okay? Um, and they don't have the type of, they don't have income, but maybe a little bit of EBTs, each of them. There isn't much that you can get for one person. But I just don't understand how they help people that are not from this darn from this country, they help darn people that come over and give them motels, hotels, you name it. Okay? Papers. Working permits. These women can go on a program to to get themselves together to, you know, and they're not on drugs. I will tell you that right now. They are not on drugs. If they were on drugs, I... I not that I, if, if I did see somebody strung, strung out, I've done it. But these two ladies, I can tell you for a fact, they are not on drugs, okay? And if I know they get around, I, I give them a couple, buy, buy whatever. But I want them to eat. I don't want to give them money to to, to put away for, for, you know, for later. Because they'll spend it in juice. This, I wanted them to have something to eat. I didn't eat nothing this morning but a cup of coffee. Yesterday, I did not cook. I only had a cup of coffee and a bowl of Frosted Flakes in the evening. Well, at 9 o'clock at night. That's all I had yesterday. And I was hungry. And I refused to eat wee hours of the night. So, I'm still hungry this morning. That's why I tore up these corn things. You know, I mean, I didn't know where I was going to go. But when I made the turn, I said, whoa. That's it. So, I have one left, guys. One. Out of six of them, one. I was hungry. So, imagine you waiting for a meal every day at, what is the meal times here? Five or six o'clock, something like that is when they give the meals. Isn't that a shame, guys, or what? Um, and they're not the only ones, okay? They're not the only ones. But a lot of people recognize them that they are the two twin homeless ladies and others hide under the if they're men they hide under the bridges and, and uh, under the piers and wherever guys wherever um carton boxes i've seen it i've seen it but anyway at least I have a peace of mind that they're going to have a bite to eat. At least I'm happy to know that they do get fed at the church up the street by the post office in the evening. And, um, but they sleep in the open. I can't give them a tent because it's just too big. They're not going to be allowed to have a tent. Then they're going to call it Tent City. Uh, she told me sometimes they leave them and then sometimes they have to move. I was like, wow. So, I, trust me, the orange tent I have back there, which is for two people that is low, it was on my mind to give it to them. But I know for a fact that they're not going to be allowed any tents. Tents are not allowed. Uh, they had, oh, they had a heavy blanket on the bottom I saw, or maybe two. And they had a sleeping bag. So, she said they both get into the sleeping bag. How do you sleep? How do you stay warm? Well, we get into the sleeping bag and then we have the blankets and we just throw it over us. You know, anything can happen to those two ladies. Anybody can, I mean, only a darn fool would try to hurt a homeless person. What can you take from them? Please leave that answer on your comments. 
What can you steal or take from a homeless person? Okay? But there are people that are evil. Okay? They will take your life. That's what they could take is your life. Okay? Um, crime is ramping up in this city. I saw notifications this morning. There's two 16-year-olds missing. Um, there's breaking into the cars, breaking the windows and stealing stuff in your cars. Um, catalytic converters. Mostly uh, this area down here is huge. Uh, and I get barely come down here. Um, so that's going on right now, okay? Um, crime is rising, right? People don't see it. People refuse to see things. People don't want to see things. People don't want to believe things. People think that when you say uh, this is happening and that's happening, they be like, oh my goodness, there she go again. Or there he go again. Or there they go. Oh, God. I, I, no, no, no. Don't, don't even talk to that because they're going to start bringing this up and that up. I don't bring up anything anymore. I just see my app notifications give me everything. Whoever wants to be dumb, I let them stay dumb. But it hurts to live in a town. I don't blame my youngest son for getting the heck up out of here and, 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 and far from here, okay? Even if he has to deal with a hurricane, I don't blame him one minute, okay? I should have moved when they were younger. <laughs> yeah, I should have moved. But I couldn't do it because I was still working. <laughs> I had too much to lose. Okay, my pension plan and my medical benefits. And they're better. Because they're still covering under my medical benefits. Ain't that a... Yeah. They got their own medical benefits, but they're still covered under mine. And you know what it is when you go to a doctor, how much it'll cost you if you didn't have insurance? But you ain't nothing. I'm nobody. I mean nobody. I miss nobody. It's okay. I'm checking to make sure I have my license. I know everything is in here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Guys, listen. Um, leave me your comment below. I'm you know what? The biggest homelessness I've seen is Chicago and California. And New York. New York I've seen since I lived, um, grew up, okay? Chicago because I lived in, in Chicago in my teens. Um, I never been to California. I've been to Colorado. I've been to Chicago. I lived in Chicago. Um, yeah, I've seen homelessness. I've seen, I've seen them here. I see them here. Not visible to the eye like tents and you know takeover and whatnot but they're they, they keep on the download because you know what they'll, they'll probably arrest them um guys let me just shut my mouth up. um but it's very sad it's very sad it is it's sad so i'm glad you know i'm still gonna go home heartbroken and, and we got some unboxing to do, okay? We got some unboxing to do, so that'll be another video, guys. So, um, there's a guy just sitting there forever. He looks like a cop. I think I recognize him as a cop. Every time a car passes by, he he be on his phone, taking a picture, looking. Okay, here. He all into the car. He all into everyone. You think I, I'm not looking through my other mirror? I'm looking. I'd be aware of my surroundings because I'm a New Yorker. So, guys, um, oh, and then I saw one of my karaoke singers. Um, he was going to the gym. Uh, he is awesome. Guy. He is on the money singing, okay? If I could find a video, I'll show you who he is, okay? Um, he is a awesome singer. I mean, he can sing heck out of some songs but he likes mexican songs which they are beautiful mexican music is beautiful there are songs that um other nationalities sing from that big artist vicente fernandez uh, vicente fernandez visited all over the states he was 
he had tours nationwide, okay? Um, but his songs are still popular. So anyway, guys, let me get into this story here. And, I know I, and let me get out of here because you know what? This guy is kind of... I mean, I ain't got nothing, scared, nothing to be scared of. But, um... Yeah, he watching everybody that passes by behind and front, sideways, and, and, and everything. You know what? When you park, sit in your car for a few minutes and scope, scope your surroundings out. You'll be surprised. Guys, I'll be back. Well, guys, I hope the... It's chilly. I hope the GPS is uh, capturing signal and the satellite up there to whomever they belong now. Um, you know, the satellites up in the, <laughs> in the orbit, um, catching signal. See if my GPS will get right, you know. Get right. I need something to get me right. So, guys, what a morning, you know. I always say, y'all always hear me say, uh, God does things for a reason. And I always wind up. Like, I could have been left earlier. I could have been over here right at 9 o'clock, but no. I just kept delaying and this delaying and Bella delaying me and then, you know. And, and I it was, I said, let me get out of here. I come around, I go to the post office, do what I got to do, and then look what I, um, look what I saw. It, it broke my heart. I know it was chilly. I know at nighttime I got to, I'm indoors, guys, okay? I'm indoors, and, and I was cold, right? Chilly. Not enough to turn the heat on because um, I'm not going to turn the heat on unless I really, really have to. But um, save a buck as far as you can. And it, cover yourself. But I'm indoors. Imagine somebody outdoors, the breeze is blowing. Okay. Gosh. This town has no heart. This town has no heart. And you still have to vote. You still have to vote. And it seems like I'm getting to the point to think that no matter who the heck you vote for, they all say good things just to get your vote, but they never do what they promise. That, that's my that's my chain of thought, okay, this year. This year. Uh, last year. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, well, two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago, and, and that's including governors and mayors and all of that stuff. And then you get to the point where you just don't even want to vote anymore. Because regardless who wins, um, they don't do what they promise to do. They don't care about you after that. They're going to still take from your taxes and raise every damn thing and, and make your life even more miserable. Okay? They don't make it better. Yeah, they do good things before the elections. Uh, listen, guys. Uh, before the elections, um, they do the damnest things, okay? They make everything as perfect so that you can remember, oh, they did, did this for this, and that for that, and that for that, and or he or she, or what not, or what. But once they get the vote, uh, they become a-holes. Okay? So you can't even trust your... The politicians anymore. I don't know. Maybe I'm just. Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know what your opinion is, guys. I really, I hope that it, it turns out well, 2024. You know, I hope so. Uh, whoever, whomever may win, because right now, oh man, what does this country even look? So I like. I'm like, you go out, all you gotta do is go out and park somewhere, anywhere you live, just park somewhere, guys, you will see, you will see, you will see a lot of things, a lot of things, if you know how to look at your surroundings, I'm from New York, I have a tendency to be, I hope nobody took the darkness or something. still there. Yeah. Yeah. This made my day. This made my day right here. Yeah. Yeah. Only problem I have here is this yellow light. I don't know where the yellow light is. Good 
लो पर जमी नते पर जमी नते check my camera guys guys then i'll go inside and i'll do my unboxing i gotta get a bag to put that stuff in to bring it in because it's a lot of of letters and packages all right guys i'll catch you on my next video guys thank you for sharing your little time with me i hope you understand what i've been saying it hurts to see situations like that but what can i do I have no authority. I am not the government. And the government knows about it. So what can a simple citizen do? What? You tell me. <laughs> Thank you guys. I'll see you on my next video.